back here on a special opening day edition of the MLB pregame show. Matt Vaskersian here counting down the minutes until the new season gets underway. And before it does, we'll check out our first Tops player spotlight. Eddie James looks to capture that same magic he had a year ago when he had the highest batting average in the National League. What do you think about his chances to repeat a batting title? You know what, Matty? I don't know. Look, at, I know it's going to be difficult to earn a repeat batting title. Look at some of the names of the guys who have done it. Some of the game's elite. Gwynn, Hornsby, Honus Wagner, Stan Musial. Look at the last guy to go back-to-back, 98-99, -back, Larry Walker. That's the kind of elite, elite player you got to be to repeat as batting champion. All right, the guys and I will be back to get this one started on MLB Network right after this. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. You know, I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run. So as the season gets started, it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone. If they can get off on a good foot, it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network. And it's coming up next. Chris Paddock gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better the that. And hopefully, he gets Eddie. off to a good start. And we'll see yeah. if that starts in this one today. It's for a good one, huh? Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Paddock has worked his way through more than 1,500 career innings, and he's worked to a 1.10 whip in that time, just a little over a base runner per inning. Very impressive. Lined hard toward right center. That's a hit, their first of the new season. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. The center fielder. Now batting, Kyle Lewis. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Runner's on his way to third. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on MLB Network. Stepping into the box, right, Eddie on, James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Starts things here with a changeup for a cold strike. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Hey, grip it and rip it, kid. Let's go. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And that one is gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 751 as he creeps ever closer as the Reds have now taken a 4 to nothing lead. 
Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around. Ready to take his hacks again. Eddie James as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Line toward right center. And this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. This one for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat hit out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after okay. that leadoff double. The center fielder. Ready once again, oh. Kyle Lewis. No Ooh. hits to this point. The 2 2. Runner breaks for third. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, d -Row. That looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book, but nonetheless, he got the job done. Yeah, a little choke and poke right there. He flipped a bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it. How about it? The first Standing in, Sam Travis. Sam. And their runners at the corners now. Bounce to first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. Digging in, Hunter Cole. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Goal. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. James is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Ready to begin the eighth, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Eddie James. First offering on its way. Here comes the 0 1. In the air to straightaway center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So the batting order turns now over back. now and set to go number, number 49. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. He makes the catch and the Reds move to 1-0 and on the young season as this ball game is over. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. 5-2 to two the final today. Cincinnati took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Brian Barrios gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Phil Maton records the save his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Five runs, ten hits, no error. They left five men on base. For the Red Sox, two runs, nine hits, no error. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Our Fenway Park paid attendance this afternoon. 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.
MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox. Now, if you love good pitching, this one's for you. First pitch is coming up. Tarek Skubal will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? We're looking at a pretty good pitcher right here. ERA under 3.5 last season, and there are a lot of teams in baseball that would love to have this guy in the rotation. Very solid and very dependable. Now at the plate, that Eddie hurt. James. He'll the get to take his first cuts Eddie. here. James. Stay hot, huh? Here it comes. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Jimenez retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native that Ian Happ. First cuts for him here with the bases open yeah. and two away. Ha. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. James has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Still no score. Riding in for Boston, Caesar Cazada, as he'll get his the first Kessler. opportunity in this Caesar. one. Cazada. The 0 1 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Two, two. James will settle under it to make the play for the first out, as the runner will have to head back to first. In now, Gilberto Jimenez. Fielder, number 32. Gilberto. One out, nobody on. Fly ball out toward left center field. Yeah, right there. You're under it. You, you, you. James will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, now Eddie that. James. Left he flew left. out in his last Eddie. at bat. Almost, Eddie. Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just hey, missed it. With time? this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Hits it high yeah, and oh, deep yeah. out to center field. Jimenez is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Number 19. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Marte backs up a bit, and he takes charge for the first out. Digging in once again, Eddie James. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit high and deep out to left field. All right, make and it bangs it, it. off the monster. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle he's his there, way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. So stepping in, Kyle Lewis, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. 
This is on the ground over to first. Fly, and fly, he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Settling in now, Sheldon Noisy, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Now the runner's on his way home. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And they've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 ball game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two at the plate, Eddie James, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Hey, let it fly. Has a look, now the pitch. Get out, get out. Round it oh, and he it can't hard. come right, up with turn, it. Make a turn. And that'll score the runner from second to make this a 6-2 ball game now. Well, that makes it a four-run deficit, so you might have to start wondering if this is too much for them to come back. They've only been able to scratch across two runs the entire game so far, so coming up with four more in this one might be too tall of an order. Stepping in, Kyle Lewis. Field, right? He was a ground-out victim last Kyle. time up. Lewis. See it? Right, let's go, He's pitch. set, and guard, the 2-1 guard. pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Devers fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the Stay side right is retired. On the bag, on the bag. So it's two runs on Please two hits, no Put errors, and a runner right. left. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The Reds are on top, six to two. Come on, Ready now. for Put another it. shot oh, yeah. now. The Eddie bat. James the and their the runners at the corners Eddie. now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing, and this ball is crushed straight away center field. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So a three-run blast to deep center here. Number 752 as he moves nearer to the big one, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Yeah, Matty V. Well, d -Row, you kind of expect a high scoring game. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. Cincinnati wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Tom Lim earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Nine runs, 12 hits, two errors. They left six men on base. For the Red Sox, four runs on six hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 42 minutes. Our Fedway Park paid attendance this afternoon. 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox. Get ready for Red Sox baseball next.
Colby Allard. The southpaw out of the Golden State gets the call here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy really struggled last year. This season's going to be about a bounce back year. Real ugly ERA last year. He has a lot to prove to himself and to his teammates that he's a much better pitcher than he was last year. Batting third. So striding forward now, Eddie James. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. First delivery to him on the way. High and deep to center field. And that one is gone. Two run shot to straightaway center. Number 753 as he closes in on immortality. And it's given Cincinnati a two to nothing lead. Well, d -Row, you know, they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to... Ready for another now chance? Back. Eddie Let's James. Go. Two's Eddie. all over the place. Two Eddie. on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Boy, this guy right here in that Bad last boy. A.B. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark, but right, a guy like time, this, if he has pop to hit it out the center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Fouled off. Fouled away. Marte at second. Siani on at first with two down. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. A three-run shot down the line in left. Number 754 career. One shy of Hank Aaron as it is now 7-3. to three. Coming to the plate now, number 49, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him. As they try to claw back, it's a five-run deficit. Well, if you're just joining us, that's the seventh home run hit so far in this game. Really unbelievable stuff. Yeah, Matty V. Well, d -Row, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. Right center's out of the equation. Dead right field's out of the equation. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Eddie James, already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. And it's fouled away. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Gone! Big dogs gotta eat! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 755 tying him with Hank Aaron as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, in hockey, they call it a hat trick. Hitting three home runs in one outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. He's having an after. 
Eddie James will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. First pitch on its way. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. Throw to first Got gets it. him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Stepping up to the plate, Eddie James. Lefty. And he's shooting Eddie. for history here as he's homered three times in this one. Hey, come on, big dog. Get your pitch. Hey, get your pitch up first there, pitch of the at-bat. Lined hard toward right center. And that'll get down out there on, for extra hard, bases. Siani ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He comes across to score. And it's now a six-run lead. And he'll scramble back to the bag and be there safely. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch inside the throw. It skips in, and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. 3-0 oh pitch on its way. The runner's breaking for home. Lifted in the air out to right. Larner is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Reds will be forced to settle for just the one. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And set to go is the second baseman, Gavin Lux. It doesn't look very promising. So. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And it's gone into the monster seats. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game as they try to claw back. It's a five-run deficit. Next up for the Red Sox, Hunter Cole. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Hunter. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back on it is the left fielder. Gone! Over the monster for a home run. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. 12 to 8 is the way this contest ends. The Reds played in an even dozen runs to come Five out to on top game. today. Darren McCowan earns his first win of the season.